I'm Michelle Phillips, a Google for Education certified trainer. And in this video, we're going to look at the Gmail skills needed to do well on the Google Educator exams. For level one, we're going to look at how to personalize your inbox, how to create labels, and search for Gmail messages. To personalize the format of your inbox, you have to go to your settings menu. You can go to your settings and then customize your inbox. In your settings menu, you can also choose themes and choose the appearance of your inbox. Gmail doesn't use folders to keep your emails and manage them. It uses labels. So to label an email, all you have to do is select it and then go to the top in the labels menu. You can choose one that is already created, or you can create a brand new one. Then you can select where it goes. And now you should see your label on the left. You can also customize your label by choosing a color. You can also edit them, remove them, and add sub-labels. When you're in your inbox, you will see the labels before the message. You can put more than one label on an email. To search for Gmail messages, you can search specific folders. You can search from the sender, who you sent it to, the subject, the words that you included, you can look for emails that does not have certain words. You can search by attachments. You can exclude chats. You can also look for the size of your emails or the date range. So for level one, we look at how to personalize your inbox, create labels, and to search your messages. In level two, we're going to look at how to enable labs, how to recall an email, how to set up canned responses, and how to configure your inbox. To enable the labs feature, go back to your settings menu, and then you'll want to click on labs. One of the labs that we're going to look at is called canned responses. Mine is already enabled. To recall an email that you've sent, go to your settings menu. Under the general tab, you're going to scroll down to undo send. Enable undo send and then send cancellation period. So you're going to have so much time after you click send to undo your send. To configure your inbox, you're going to go to your settings menu and then go to inbox and you can select how you want your messages to show up. Also under general at the bottom is where you can have a vacation responder. You can turn it on and off and for a message, like if you're out of the office and you want anyone that sends you an email to get a message that you will email them back when you return. Have you ever found yourself responding to the same types of emails over and over again? Well, you can make it easier with canned responses. So let's say you know you have an important test coming up and your students and their parents are gonna be emailing you to ask over and over again, when is the test? Where's my study materials? So you can create a canned response. So you type in your subject and body of your email, go down to the bottom to more options, and then you go to canned responses, and you want to create a new canned response. And so the subject shows up in the title. You can rename it or keep that as your title. Click OK, and then I'm going to close that. And next time that you're responding to someone else or you need to send an email to someone, you go to more options, canned responses, and you can insert, look, insert at the top, saves in the middle, and delete is at the bottom. You can insert your test on Friday, and then just click send. So for level two, we looked how to enable labs, recall emails, set up canned responses, and configure your inbox. If you want more tips or tutorials, you can go to my website, edtechinaction.com.